What up, YouTube? D4G here, banging out another video. Hey, man, today we got three gentlemen fragrances for the fall. All cheapies, and these are all going to be under that B.O.B. threshold. Let's talk about it. So, look, before we even get started, I just want to say a message real quick. Over here on this side of YouTube, man, we talk about FFL, football, fragrance, lifestyle. We do a different collection of videos from rack stores to cheapy gems to designer. Soon we're going to be working our way into that niche and we even cover some Middle Eastern. Now with that being said, two people I want to give a shout out to. Two people. One, just in case there's any misrepresentation, I want everybody to know first and foremost, we don't just focus on Middle Eastern fragrances over here. We focus on looking good, smelling good, feeling good, as well as FFF, football, fragrance, lifestyle. Y'all already know, man. Don't just think that we only cover Middle Eastern on this side of YouTube, man. If y'all want to follow somebody who I'm a huge fan of that covers Middle Eastern fragrances, check out my guy Jeremy at House of Colossus. He will get you right on Middle Eastern fragrances. That dude knows. He, he, on, he on that with the Middle Eastern fragrances. Just know that. The second shout out I want to give out to is to my guy Goldie Sense, man. Goldie since be getting me right, man. I'm telling you, check out his videos. He'll get you right with the dress game, fragrance game. And just for anybody that might be thinking I ain't big stepping right now. Understand, man, it's the suits and the dress. If we do something, just know we do it right. Now let's talk about these fragrances. So with all that being said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Over here on this side of YouTube, we talk about FFL, man. Football, fragrance, lifestyle. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be updated anytime we drop this content. And to all my OG subscribers out there, ah, salute, fam. Hope everything is going good with you, man. Now let me get right real quick. Now, excuse me for that first part. I just had to get that out there because uh, I see some, some people think that we talk about things differently. But over here, like I said, y'all know what it is. Let's get into this fragrance. Now I'm about to present y'all three design of cheapies that are all gonna be under that B.O.B. threshold. If you don't know what B.O.B. means, it's very simple. Balling on a budget. B.O.B. Balling on a budget. My B.O.B. threshold is $40. So if it's, BO, if it's a B.O.B. classic, it's gonna be under that $40 threshold. And right now I'm about to present y'all with three fragrances that I think is perfect for the gentleman, man. Perfect for the, the man that's trying to look good and smell good on a budget during the fall. The first fragrance that I'm bringing to y'all today is gonna be Amen Mugler. Man, I know I messed up that name, man. I don't know, but Amen by Mugler, man. Lavender, mint, fruit and spicy notes, coriander, green notes, bergamot, caramel, patchouli, honey, milk, cedar, jasmine, lily of the valley, coffee, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, amber, sandalwood, and musk. Damn, that's a lot. Now this is an OG fragrance. This is an amber woody fragrance at that. I've actually found this at a, hey, yes sir, yes sir. I found this at a Nordstrom Rack, I think it was. And if I'm correct, I do remember it. I think it was around that $39.99 price range. It's filled with warm and spicy accords. And in the opening, you're gonna get hit with a lot of coffee as well as caramel. This is a sweet coffee fragrance in the opening. And then as it dries down, you got the vanilla, you got some sandalwood, you get a little bit of musk, but the vanilla and the sandalwood are gonna be the main two things that you're gonna get in the dry down. This is a great fragrance for just a gentleman that, you know, you wanna wear it on a night out, you can wear it in the office. You can do a lot of things with this. I would prefer, I would more so say keep this during the evening to nighttime. But if you are doing something during the day, you can pull it off during that time as well. Now I do have to give a disclaimer. This fragrance came out in around 90, sometime in the late 90s, I think it was 96. So it has been reformulated a couple of times. Whereas the older batches, you were gonna get a beast mode fragrance with the older batches. But with the newer ones, I'm getting around seven to eight hours of performance and I'm cool with that. That's a good performance for me with average sillage. So I'm cool with that. It does what I needed to do in the short times that I wear it. Now sometimes, like I said, it could be office related, it could be date related. 
It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Cause you know I'm a big fan of coffee. That coffee on chocolate, that chocolate on chocolate. It works for me, man. The first fragrance in the list, fall designer cheapies for under $40. Bugler. Amen. Now the second fragrance on this list is gonna be another one that you can't find in the rack stores. It is a little bit harder to find in the rack stores, so I would suggest going to like Macy's, Dillard, something like that to smell it first to make sure it's something that you can rock with. And then if you can rock with it and you don't wanna pay $100, go try to find it at a rack store. With it getting into the fall and winter time, these are still popping up on a regular basis. We're talking about John Barbados Vintage. Rhubar, quince, pepper, wormwood, basil, fennel, cinnamon, juniper berries, lavender, green leaves, orias wood, jasmine, tobacco, suede, balsam fir, taka bean, woody notes, oak moss, and patchouli. Now even though this is listed as a woody fragrance, you get a lot of aromatic, you get a nice aromatic feel with a lot of spicy notes and a spicy accord with it. Now it's not like the Sauvage Sp Spicy, it's not like a dark spicy, this is more of like a fresh spicy. So this is gonna be a nice take on something that you can wear during the fall and winter time, during those cold months. Now in the opening, I get three main things in the opening. I get fennel, pepper, and lavender. Those are the three main things that I get in the opening. So it does come off with a nice spicy accord, but again, it's very aromatic. You're gonna get a good freshness as well with that pepper mix in the initial opening of this fragrance. And then as it dries down, you get some of that suede, woodsy notes. Man, I'm telling you right now, if you don't have this one, or if you haven't tried this one, or smell, go to a department store and try to get your nose on it and just smell it and see if that's something that you can rock with. This is one of those fragrances that to me doesn't have a, is not limited on the range when it comes to the fall and winter time. You can wear this in the day, evening, or at night. You can dress this up for the most part. Now this fragrance, it would be hard for me to want to dress it down. I really wouldn't want to pull out no sweatsuits or anything like that with this. I would mostly want to keep this with some nice joggers, a polo, maybe even a hoodie. A little bit more of a dressed in a way. Nothing dressed down. And performance wise, I've been getting around six to seven hours with this, as well as an average sillage. Now the sillage is most powerful in the initial opening. Those first two hours, that's when you're gonna get a lot of performance and a lot of great CIs with this. But then as it starts to work its way down towards the dry down, it starts to become a little bit more of a skin sit, if not an arm, about an arm's reach, not too much. You can use your personal arms if you want to, but it's gonna be around that range. It's not a room filler at all. With this type of fragrance, you don't need it to be a room fuller, filler. You need it to be one that when people walk past you or you walk past people, because you're gonna be dressed up, you want, that's when you want them to catch whiffs of you. You want them to hit that turn back like, damn, what he got on? That's what this one will do for you. I enjoy this one a lot, and I am eager to start wearing this one a lot more since it's transitioning to the weather of time that I would wear this the most. Y'all know what it is. Under that $40 threshold, still a great designer, and it's a cheapie for the fall and winter time. So if you're looking for another B.O.B. fragrance for the fall and winter, can't go wrong with John Barbados Vintage. Now the last one on the list is also the most fitting on the list. This one is coming from the house of Coach. Talking about Coach Platinum, man. Pineapple, black pepper, juniper berries, cashmere, sage, geranium, vanilla, leather, sandalwood, and patchouli. Now this is listed as an amber woody fragrance and it's mostly filled with a lot of woody, spicy accords. One of my favorite things about this bottle presentation, because I do like this overall bottle presentation, but man, I just I love the twisted cap that Coach puts on a lot of their fragrances. In the opening, you're gonna get a lot of boy. In the opening, you're gonna get hit with a nice sweet pineapple as well as a black pepper mix. You will be reminded of Sauvage with this. I wouldn't say particularly Sauvage EDT. That is something that I've heard a lot, but it does give you, it does remind you of a twist on Savard. And then as it works its way to the dry down, you get a nice sweet vanilla that comes out, mixed with a little bit of leather. Yo, this one right here might be one of the, might be the best one in the coach line. Coach for Men is very underrated. Coach Platinum is the most hyped one of the bunch. And performance-wise, it's gonna be the same as what it was on John Barbados. Six to seven hours 
with about average siage. Now the siage in this one lasts a little bit longer than what I get from John Barbados Vintage. I'm getting about a good three hours of siage. Now I possibly could be getting longer than that. I think I might just go nose blind to it after a while. It's easy to go nose blind with a fragrance like this, especially when you have a lot of that pepper spiciness in there. Like it's very easy to get nose blind to this fragrance. If you want something that's under that $40,000 threshold that has a nice savage twist to it, that's still in that designer realm, you can't go wrong with Coach Platinum. But that's gonna be my video right there, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What three fragrances would y'all rock with as B.O.B. fragrances that's under that $40 threshold that is still designers that you can rock out, particularly the fall. And just one more time for the people in the back that might have heard, might not have heard me. Over here on this side of YouTube, we talk about FFL, man. Football, fragrance, lifestyle. Don't get it twisted. With all that being said, man, we about to get up out of here, man. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square, stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, man. D4G, truly blessed. That's it for greatness. Ha! We out. Boy, I know I'm looking good to the motherfucker too.